Hi guys, my name is Viktor Vanya and you will be able to log into your computer like this after watching this video. For this project you will need one of these STM32 boards, then one of RFID reader which has UART, you can buy any kind you want, and then I bought this uh, RFID capsule which I placed into my USB drive. When it comes to using these boards, I used to modify them. I used to place jumpers directly to boot pins since I don't use them. And I also used to place jumpers to R11 and to R9 where 22 ohm resistors used to be. It's because of uh, better impedance, uh, since you may have some issues when you are using longer USB cables. And I also used to place 1.5 kilo ohm resistor uh, to let computer know when you plug in your USB device. So you can let your computer know and you can plug in and unplug your device by toggling this resistor. So what I did, I placed uh, this STM board and RFID reader behind my screen and when I swipe it reads my RFID chip and generates passwords and logs me into my computer. So my computer thinks it is uh, ordinary keyboard. For my RFID reader, I used a USB bus from a webcam, so I had to remove a web camera to use this USB port. And in the future, I am going to place their USB hub. And here's my USB webcam. It's fully working using USB, and by Adding USB hub, I can even add there one more webcam to have front and rear cam, so this will be really interesting. I generated this project using STM32CubeMX and I used USB device and USB device full speed peripheral and also UR3 and timer 4. And I am using pin B3 to toggle USB plus pin, as I mentioned before, just to let computer know when your USB device is ready to communicate. STM32 Cube MX program generates your human interface device project as computer mouse and you need to change it uh, to your custom human interface device as keyboard and uh, I used this tutorial to modify my project so after following this uh, your project uh, will work as a uh, human interface device keyboard and then I used this header library from Mighty Pork to send uh, keys from keyboard. These keys are not SC, but these are uh, the one keys you send through uh, USB. I use this UART interrupt function to receive all characters that RFID reader sends me, and then I use this timer to check when RFID reader stops sending me these characters uh, because RFID doesn't send me any end of message symbols such as carriage return or line feed or null terminator nothing like that so when I receive the flag then I generate password based on uh, RFID serial number and then I translate this into uh, hit keys 
So I you know, here I just type in the password uh, that it was generated by this four cycle before. And that's it. All files are available on GitHub and I will share all links also. See you. Bye.